My secret is I played baseball in college. Ah, just kidding. With Fall in the Air, I thought I'd share a deep, dark secret from my past. Most people don't know this about me. In college, I was on the football team. Now, you have to understand, this was at Swarthmore College, a tiny Quaker school outside of Philadelphia. If you could fog a mirror, you could be on the football team. That isn't to say we didn't have some good players. We had some very good players who were highly recruited from high school. I was not one of them. Be back in a second with more. During my four years, I was at varying times a seventh string quarterback and got up as high as third string by my senior year. And that's only because all the other guys ahead of me stopped playing to pursue other endeavors. But I stuck with it. My friends were on the team and practice was a welcome break from the tedium and intensity of schoolwork. For two hours a day, I got to take my mind off studying and do something physical. I was one of the few people who actually looked forward to practice. I was what was called the scout quarterback. In other words, I ran the opposing team's offense against the starting defense. It was my job to give the defense a good look at what they were going to face on Saturday. And I took that job pretty seriously. People would sometimes ask me, why are you still on the football team? You never get to play. And I understood where they were coming from. It seems sort of stupid to be on a team if you're never going to play in a game. But what they didn't realize was that from Monday to Friday, those days were my Saturdays. They were my game days. And even if I never got to go in a game on Saturday, I still worked at getting better. I was a far better player as a senior than I was as a freshman, that's for sure. And being on a team teaches you a lot about life, getting along with others, the discipline of practice, and about overcoming adversity in general. Our team wasn't very good, and we got our butts kicked quite a bit, but we never quit. And I can say those lessons stood me in good stead for the future. There have been many times in my career as a doctor when it would have been easy to just pack it in, follow the crowd, not make waves, do the easy thing. But I've never done that. Because if you care about something enough, you'll try your hardest to do the best. And that's why I'm telling you this story. The lesson for today is, and I don't always provide a lesson, is this. Actually, there are two lessons. The first is, if you have arthritis, don't give up. Keep on trying. Stay in the game. Second, dealing with arthritis is a team game. The rheumatologist might be the coach, but other team members play an important role in the management of your disease. You have physical and occupational therapists, other medical subspecialists that might be needed, your pharmacist, nurses, and so on. Only when the team is working well together can you expect to get the optimal outcome. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Nathan Way.